I've never thought of that before, where in an audition, those are the scenes that are picked for you to do. Always, they always, those scenes, yeah, there's like, oh God, yeah, I will just, years of auditioning and having to like, you know, break down in the middle of a scene or at the start or like screaming or whatever the thing may be, or you know, they're dead on the floor, you're crying, <laughs> you know, they sort of like, you know, and thanks very much. And then you're back in your car, back on like La Brea going, wow, what just happened? <laughs> and then they make you learn, you know, 30 pages of dialogue and then you get there and they go, we're just going to do the first scene. So it's just the first two pages. And you've meanwhile been like slaving for five days, learning it, acting coach, voice coach, like doing all your prep right. work. And then you get in and they're like, it's just the first two pages. Don't it's worry. that first scene when she's yeah. in her bikini. Yeah, just the one in the bikini when you're making out. Yeah. You don't have to make out. You can just take your top off. But if you want to make out, then <laughs> the writer's here. <laughs> Can, do you remember a particularly horrible audition that sort of crystallized like your your frustration with that process? With that process? Oh God, there's so many. I remember doing one particular audition with, uh, with a very famous actor, which will not rename, remain nameless, um, and I had to like break down and you know beg for his forgiveness or something, and he was behind a wall of like uh, audition tapes with people's names on them. So I was like reading like Julia Stiles or, you know, whoever like the actresses were behind him. Wait, the actual actresses that were audition auditioning like for the, the role? Like the tapes, yeah, like they had all the tapes. It was very distracting. And I'm like, I would imagine. I'm trying to like look at him and be in the moment and seeing all these names, it was bizarre. That was bizarre, that was bizarre. Yeah, you're sitting there, I wonder how Julia Stiles handled yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, I know, I was like, what is, what is happening? Um, but no, oh my God, I've had, and then I had, yeah, I had one. A really bad audition once I remember with a very well-known well director and writer um, and in the middle of the scene again like a very emotional scene the writer there was a lot of people in the room and the writer was over here and he just was like walking around the room opening potato chips and eating them <laughs> crunching and eating the potato chips and walking around and then leaving the room and then coming back and like and I'd already waited two hours in the waiting room some highlights <laughs> from my career. That That's was a good horrible. one. That was a good one. <laughs> it's amazing you're here. It like, is amazing. On, after a day like that, you'd be like, like I, I'm done it's with this amazing. business. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, I think auditioning should just be one scene. I don't think it necessarily should have to be like a crazy scene. You know, I think it should be a scene that's accessible and and then if that works, then maybe you get them back. You get come back in again and do something right. else. Right. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you wanna see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm gonna give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out. <laughs>